Hello everybody! Welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Alright, so I'm starting out here with my reward uh, for... Let's see here. So it says either uh, complete a total of 10 of either Species Conquest or Area Conquest for the Mars Sigil. Now, I'm not exactly sure which, uh, I guess, reward was triggered there. Uh, because at this point, I believe I had... I had uh, captured uh, 10 of every monster in basically every area up until the only ones that I hadn't uh, completed yet were the ones for Inside Sin, because we haven't been there yet, uh, as well as the Omega Dungeon, which, same reason, haven't been there quite yet. So, um, basically, uh, the I guess what I'm getting at is catch enough fiends uh, and and ten of them in enough areas and you will get yourself the Mars uh, sigil. Um, I, uh, I always capture ten of everything everywhere because uh, I want to you know do everything and uh, and you need to do that in order to <laughs> to do everything. So um, I will say that uh, you know uh, a commenter on one of my uh, videos had mentioned uh, Death Strike uh, for the capture weapons, and I think that uh, like now in hindsight and looking at, because I'll be honest, when I when I did my capturing weapons, I uh, I didn't actually honestly put that much thought into them, and um, I still do think that First Strike on Titus's weapon is is a must. Um, there's just there's just a, uh, you know too many battles where an ambush can can really screw you over. Um, so my my uh, my opinion remains the same on that. Also on Riku's weapon and using Stone Strike. Um, I think that of of the characters, I think that she makes sense uh, to put that on her weapon. And also that's just saying uh, because I I like those three. I like Titus. Uh, Waka and Riku. Now, the one thing that I will change, and and it does have something to do with uh, with the comment um, about Death Strike, is I I would have rather put instead of uh, piercing on Waka's capture weapon, I wish I would have gone with Death Strike. And uh, the reason for that is I think that Death Strike is a is a great um, a great option uh, for that and. Uh, I, th I just think that um, piercing isn't good enough to merit a slot. And, you know, we're so limited. Obviously, we've got, you know, capture, and then there's only one open slot on these weapons. But um, I think that the only creature that, that it really was even sort of beneficial to have piercing on uh, was the, uh, the Gemini enemies in uh, Inside Sin. And so... You know, again, based off of that, I, I actually don't really think that it makes makes a whole lot of sense to put uh, piercing on any of the weapons. I just think that if you, you know, stick to the other two. And then on top of that, um, I, I honestly think that because they basically require you to start out in the Calm Lands for capturing, it's it, it seems to me that that first reward is 60 far plane wins, which is enough to add Death Strike to something, which makes me think that they probably intended uh, for people to put Death Strike on capture weapons. Um, so uh, that's, I guess, just my theory, but uh, yeah, I think that that's the way to go. But um, all right, so there's 99 Petrify Grenades, by the way. Uh, speaking of Stone Strike, uh, it looks like that's that's the reward for uh, capturing Jose Road Fiends. Um, and, uh, yeah, again, I, uh, I I think that, well, I mean, that definitely this time around was actually the first time I ever put Stone Strike on something, and I really liked that. Um, I, you know, I just... I really like the trio of Riku, Waka, Titus uh, because there are a few areas in the game where we are forced into fighting with those three. And so, you know, I, I just think that, you know, what, what's the purpose of having capture on other, other characters if, uh, 
you know, they can't always participate in, in the battles. And so, again, these three get to participate in the maximum amount of battles. Uh, it's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not the end of the world if, uh, you know, you decide to take somebody like Orin instead of Riku for a while, right? You know, I mean, there's a couple of uh, areas like, uh, what is it, the Gagazette Cave where... Sure, Orin can't come along for the ride, but you could, I suppose, just defend with Riku. But hey, I uh, didn't want to bother with all that, so uh, I just uh, I just went this route. But um, yeah, so if you, you can see here, I don't know, I'm just collecting really all of my rewards from uh, the, um, you know, capturing up to this point. Uh, so here's the Besaid stuff. Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really remember like of all of these uh, rewards what was like particularly good and what wasn't uh, I think you know the initial far plane wins are really nice I think there's one reward that uh, results in uh, 99 chugbo wings which uh, yeah that's the uh, the thunder plane so that's uh, capture at least one of every fiend on the thunder plane I got that quite a while ago um, yeah, I guess basically it was right when right when capturing became available, and I mean that's great because that is uh, that's auto or eighty of them is auto haste, you know, for uh, armor. So just you know, fantastic. Um, all right, so capture one of every fiend from Mount Gagazette gets you the Blossom Crown. That's also a very very important. Uh, that will be one of the items that we need to uh, get the Magus Sisters. Uh, let's see what else do we have here that I'm looking at that's at least somewhat important. Door to tomorrow. Which one is that? Door to tomorrow. Oh, overdrive to AP. Um, yeah, those are those are important, sort of. Um, yeah, sort of. Uh, we'll end up, uh, I guess, throwing those on some weapons later. Uh, the it's it's kind of a great one because uh, there's there's going to be some weapons that we'll get later after farming the uh, the one eye enemy and um, it's the combination of I think that one is gosh I think those are triple AP weapons I I'm, I always get them mixed up if they're the triple AP or if they're the triple overdrive let me uh, I'll finish this boss battle that I'm doing and then I'll I'll look those up. I'm going to end up doing a, I think a full, you know, monster arena guide, I suppose, uh, where a lot more of this information I'll I'll try to throw in there. But um, but yeah, uh, you know, I guess at the end of the day, one of the deals were like like I used to I used to kind of stress a little bit more about, you know, the specific rewards, but you know, at the end of the day. Uh, just knowing that I'm going to be capturing 10 of everything kind of made me, I guess, worry about that a little bit less, right? Like, I just know that I'm going to end up getting everything anyway. And so I wasn't, uh, you know, super focused on, you know, one set of enemies. Like, I wasn't like, oh my god, okay, I need to do the Jose enemies right now and then, you know, do, you know, X, Y, and Z. It was just, okay, I'm going to have to spend about you know, four hours probably farming all of the different uh, areas, you know, to capture all of the different monsters. And so then, you know, you kind of, I kind of came back and which is exactly what happened here was, uh, or where the, where the video started out where, okay, now I'm just going to collect all my uh, rewards at once. But uh, yeah, so it looks like the, uh, the one eye enemy drops the triple AP weapon, um, which yeah, I guess is wings to discovery times fifty. Yeah, that's why that would be very very expensive to try to to try to bribe those up. Um, so again, you know the the better route is to just farm the uh, the one eye enemy, and it'll drop weapons that already have the triple AP, and then and then the ones that I really like to get are the weapons that not only have that, uh, but they'll also have two extra slots. And then you uh, trick them out with the uh, the overdrive to AP, and then the um, the triple overdrive ability. The triple overdrive is very expensive though too. Um, that's the winning formula times thirty, which is another bribe. I th think are those the ones from the? 
I think those are sandworm bribes. Let me just see if I've got that right here. I'm a little rusty now because I made I made my weapons a few days ago. And it's one of those deals where once I, you know, have a few of them, then I just don't I, I yeah, I just I guess I just don't bother anymore after that. But um <coughs> excuse me. Sandworm, yes, winning formula times fifteen for a nine hundred K bribe. That is uh God, that's expensive. Holy crap. But, yeah. So that's about 2 mil if you want to put triple overdrive on a weapon. Yikes. So, yeah, it gives you probably some idea of how expensive this whole process gets. <clears throat> Basically, what I end up doing is, um, again, taking those weapons from the one eye uh, and then putting the overdrive to AP and then the triple uh, overdrive and uh yeah they're fantastic uh leveling weapons so like when you just need sphere levels uh you go do the the don tonberry fight and uh you know with the uh usually with the comrade overdrive mode on and then because you take so much damage and your uh you know your your comrade fills very very quickly and I, it's just it's a great way like i said to to get a lot of sphere levels but anyways well all right i get like i said i'm going to do a i'll do, i'll do a full uh, guide on the monster arena stuff but uh here we're going to head on into the remium temple now that we have all of the aeons it is time to uh finish the rest of the fights we'll go uh knock out your uh yojimbo uh anima and then i think I do the uh, Magus sisters here as well. I will be the judge of your Aeon strength. Are you good enough? Very well. Before we begin, now, are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. All right, let's. Uh, we'll start with Yojimbo here. Uh, on, honestly, for for strategy here, uh, I <laughs> these were just easy. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it, it's funny too because I didn't really choose your animal. Well somewhere. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I didn't really. Uh, I didn't feel like I. I actually leveled Yuna like an absurd amount by any means, but. Uh, I think by this, I think actually by this point, I, I may have been done with her, with her grid, right? I, I, I think I made it all the way to holy. And then I just stopped. Um, <clears throat> so that should at least give you some idea, I think, of, uh, of, uh, I guess, of her strength uh, at this point. So, um, I suppose if you're having any troubles here, um, you know, not, maybe not a bad idea to, uh, uh, to do some leveling with her. Uh, anyways. Yeah, wow, look at the damage. Daigoro's doing like 300 damage to Anima. Jeez, that's pretty terrible. Uh, so I suppose <clears throat> if you are also, if you have any problems here, uh, teach Anima haste. That's just with a, I think it's a few chocobo feathers, I think it is. Uh, I suppose you could maybe teach... I don't know. I, I feel like even teaching protect is probably overkill already. I think haste alone will will probably uh, be enough. Um, also, you could do the old uh, kind of cheese trick where you just uh, you know summon uh, with the overdrive gauge fully filled up and just hit o uh, oblivion. Stop. That is enough. <clears throat> no, it's not enough. Alright, eight shadow gems, that's lame. You've got quite a name to live up to, daughter of Braska. Very well. Before we begin. Now, are you ready? Okay, our turn to uh take down Anima. That 
nasty. It's just it always it always freaks me out. <laughs> so uh, this Aeon is just creepy. All right, uh, I'm gonna. I summoned uh, Bahamut for this for this one. Uh, I think now a couple of the other Aeons have uh, break it or have break damage limit uh, because of the. Um, <clears throat> you know the other the other Aeons are attached to your your characters and whether or not their Celestials are powered up. I can't remember which one is which off the top of my head, and I'm I don't think I'm interested enough to to look again. But um, I guess maybe some of the other a uh, Aeons would be an option in order to go against Anima now, right? Because uh, for a long time there, Bahamut is the only one that can naturally break uh, the damage limit. But uh, again, at this point now, that's even not that's not the case anymore and and some of the other aeons at least become sort of an option but i still think why bother uh bahamut is just gonna get the job done here so that is uh i believe i just hit him here and oh did that not kill it or did it oh yeah it did huh okay i guess there was just no overkill huh weird all right I'll tell you when I've had enough. I haven't had enough though. Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I'm glad. Take this. It may come in handy. Stamina springtime sixty. Um can't remember what that is. If you've got what it takes to beat Sen, I should be no more than a bump in your path. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, time to uh, time to unlock Mega Sisters. Um, <clears throat> the, the Mega Sisters, uh, I, I forget which one if it's the scepter or the the rod or the crown or whatever. One of the items is uh, is obtained for defeating Bahamut here, uh, and then the other one we did get from the uh, the monster arena. I believe it was one from every monster on Mount Gagazette. Uh, but that gets us the Mega Sisters, Sandy, Cindy, and Mindy. <clears throat> well, you know, shall we see how well your training serves you? Very well. Before we begin, now, are you ready? Okay. Uh, so for these three, I just summon in anima and uh use oblivion and that was it it was just boom one shot him and it was done pretty pretty easy stuff um i, I you know honestly i haven't used Magus sisters much i'm trying to think of i'm sure they're good in certain cases but there's also a, a certain you know unpredictability to them that i that i'm not so wild about Choose your Aeon uh, which is why I honestly don't use them much. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm I've basically completed all my my stat farming. Um, I'm not I'm not completely done. I haven't done all of the Dark Aeons yet, but I haven't used them a single time. So maybe that that might give some idea of how useful I find them. <laughs> But, uh, alright, yes, like I said, uh, I just used o Oblivion once here. I was already, you know, I had my uh, overdrive cage already filled up. And uh, this is just gonna, this is just gonna one-shot them. So, uh, as far as strategy goes here, this is my strategy. <laughs> Summon Anima uh, with a fully charged overdrive and one-shot them and just be done with it. Boom. 
All right, there you go. Pretty easy stuff. Stop, that is enough. <laughs> All right, what do we get here? Forty shining gems, lamb. Perhaps you'll teach me again someday. <laughs> That's not possible. You have already surpassed your father. There is nothing more I can teach you. My work here on Spira is done. Time for me to go. Uh. Send her. Yes. Is in your hands. Destroy sin and save Spira. All right, there is the moon sigil. Uh, so that will be used now to power up Yuna's weapon. Uh, and I believe now uh, I've I've basically obtained every item uh, to. You know to power up the celestial weapons and so uh, I think the the last part of this video is is going to be doing that uh, let me just check here fairly certain that's the case anyway I know that um, yeah hers she might have the the most requirements to uh, yeah to powering up her celestials there's a lot of battles that need to be, you know, done in order to get that. All right. Yeah, as I said here, we're powering up uh, the Nirvana. Weapons power has grown. All right, so that looks like that was the first, uh, first item. And let's... Uh, all right, must offer the Moon Sigil. Right, max power on the Nirvana. Uh, looks like uh, Orin is next. Let's see here. What have we got? Mars Crest. Oh yeah, we got that a long time ago. So that was uh, on the trip through the Mihan High Road. The weapon, obviously itself, also kind of found on the Mihan, uh, Mihan High Road. Although, well. Or is that technically the Jose? That might actually be the Jose road, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so yeah, again, Crest, you know, way back uh, on the Meehan. Actually, yeah, technically that's the low road, right? Uh, back kind of where we we saw Awaka and donated him or to him for the last time. Uh, and then you've got the Mars Sigil, which is to cre uh, capture 10 monsters in ten of 10 different species in... 10 different regions so yeah that's very uh it's very intense uh for that reward as well uh onion knight here again the weapon itself found after uh the geos geos gano uh, uh fight uh venus crest is on the uh the far plane right inside guado salam there and then the venus sigil is the lightning dodger 200 times i always remember too dreading the lightning dodge, uh, dodging, and now it's, I don't know, it's just a joke. It's so, it's so easy. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is that the technique in that spot, and then no encounters, I suppose, as well. So, um, all right, so here we're finishing up the God Hand. Um, you know, God Hand itself is uh, use the airship uh, password. Uh, and then the crest is in the Sanubia Desert, and then the sigil is, you know, we have to complete the village of the Cactars. And that is it. That is all of our uh, celestial weapons all completely powered up. And uh, now we can just dominate 
everything forever. <laughs> so, all right, that is going to be it for this one. As always, I hope the guide was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.